Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, today I'm just going to go over the different port mods and adapters I've made for those ports. Um, so right here we have the original OEM Game Boy Micro port. This one is the USB-C port. And this one right here is the Lightning, uh, the Apple Lightning port. So... Here we are, Game Boy Micro, original port there, nothing too fancy, let's see, there we go, alright, Game Boy Micro, USB-C port, oh, let's see, there it is, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. Looks pretty good, huh? I've sold quite a bit of these. Um, people usually send me pictures of their finished work. It looks amazing. Uh, I love seeing the USB-C port on a lot of different micros. There we are. And then this is the lightning port. Game Boy Micro. Here we are. Lightning port. This was the very first port mod I ever did. Um, I did it because it has eight pins. It's got ten pins in here. Two of them, I think, are ground pins, and then you have the other eight pins. And um, the Game Boy Micro originally has eight pins, so I felt that that um, was a perfect port for it. So, and there we are. Um, here are the cables. I just shot a video on how I make these cables. Um, this one is quite tedious to make. You have to grab the cable, completely strip it, keep the aluminum um, housing, I guess you could say. Uh, this is the original black part. This is a PCB that I made. Um, just got an 8 core wire from AliExpress. I believe I can buy some from DigiKey, which I might do next time because I'm running kind of low. Uh, people buy these quite often. Um, here we have a USB-C and a GBA EXT port. Two resistors on each side. Um, I just bought a huge, not a huge, but I bought about a hundred of these off of Amazon, so I'm just trying to use them. That's why these are uh, this specific resistor. Uh, the board was custom made by me and designed. There we are. Okay, the USB-C. We have a USB-C um, mail end here. I got this off of AliExpress. I think it has 12 pins if I'm not mistaken, but you only need six of the pins for this to work. Just some heat shrink, make it look pretty professional. There we are. And then this just has the US, uh, the uh, GBA EXT port on it. I didn't bother putting a USB-C port on it. Uh, the reason why the other cable has a USB-C is because I believe that uh, people will appreciate there being a common um, port for them to charge their Game Boy Micro. So that's why that's there. A lot of people have USB-C and a lot of people have lightning as well. That's why this lightning cable does not have a USB-C either. There we are. And then we have the lightning cable end. If you can look closely, I think that's Either 10 or 8 pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, yes, 8 pins. Um, only 6 of them are utilized in here. You can look on my Instagram and it shows you, or I posted pictures of sort of the process of making this one. Uh, this was quite awful to make because there's a custom PCB board in here. 
that is extremely tiny and I have to connect six wires to that teeny tiny PCB board so uh, making one of these is not my idea of a good time so this is most likely one of a kind alright so let me take this game out real quick there we are I'm just going to demonstrate these with um, uh, the G, the Game Boy mic, uh, the GBA wireless adapters. But first, I'm just going to demonstrate that these do charge. Let's see. Now this one has a different battery in it. I'm not sure if it'll take the charge. So yeah, if you can look in there. Um, I don't know how to block the light, but you can see the blue lights. Are on and that will charge both ways this is a USB-C to USB-C cable because the adapter I make has two resistors so it'll charge both ways as well there it is all right um so just to emphasize a point I'm about to make later in the video So this will charge when the Game Boy Micro is already turned on. There we are. My cat has jumped up on the table and he's trying to ruin my video. Alright, throw me up. Come on. Just stay down for a little while longer. You can come up here. Alright, so let me grab this. This is uh, an original Apple cable. There we are. It's a little cracked because I think I accidentally applied some heat to it. Come on, let me go. Go over there. Okay. So the reason why I made the emphasis on turning it on first was because... Um, Apple cables, as you can see, they have this metal housing, I guess you could say, around them. So the first thing to touch the pins inside of the port here is that metal. So basically, this metal piece will short all those pins as it's first inserted, if that makes sense. So this will charge fine. Hopefully I have a battery in here. Oh, okay. So you can't tell that this is charging because the um, ribbon cable to the start and select are ripped, but it's charging. But when I have it on, as you can see, it's on. And I insert the cable, and it turns off. So let me show you that again. There we are. And I insert the cable, and it's off. But, if you just plug it in, it should work fine. And you can see that when I demonstrate the, um, the, the GBA adapter. So I'll just go ahead and show you that. So, I'll take the cable here. Lightning port. Grab a GBA adapter. Pop that on there. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate it first without it being, well, it being turned on first. So there we are, it's on. And I'm about to plug this in. And let's see. Where's the other thing? Uh, hold on. There it is. And it turns off. So let's plug it in first. There we are. And turn it on. And there we go. Now the good thing about this, the lightning cable specifically, is that I can take it out, flip it around, and use it in this orientation here.
but it should work. And there it is, it works. Okay. Now you don't have that, oh, this was still on. You do not have that issue with the USB-C. Get rid of the USB-C cable. Just gonna plug it in. But I don't have the adapter plugged in, so. Now the downside to the USB-C cable is the port that I made is a 12-pin port, um, which means that it's kind of difficult to explain, but what it really sums up to is that when you do plug in the adapter, it can only go one way. So the way I can tell is if I have this sticking up, instead of this side sticking up, it'll work. So I'll show you the side that won't work. So we'll plug it in that way. There we are, we'll turn it on. And I've never had that happen before, but that's what happens. It didn't work. But if I pop it in the correct way, and she works. So, the USB-C is only one way, the lightning cable is two ways, but it needs to be plugged in before even turning the system on, and then you have the original OEM one, and all of these should work perfectly fine with any Game Boy Advance peripheral. There we are. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. And there it is. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this small video. Um, it's not really like a tutorial or anything, but I hope it was still enjoyable. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.